friends, this video on morphology of flowering plants part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so with all these in mind, we will now start our discussion on aerial stems. That is the stems which grow above the ground. I mean, so which is common for us, which we generally see. Stems always mean something which is aerial, something which is above the ground. So we are going to talk about the various modifications of aerial stems, the different categories of aerial stems. So the first category of stem which we will talk about in aerial stems are the strong stems. Now the name itself is self-explanatory so there is nothing much to explain. Stems which are strong. So strong, stout and erect stems. Now in the picture itself you can see a palm tree or even a coconut tree. So these kind of trees, if you observe uh, their stems, you can see that they are really, really hard, uh, woody, strong. So they are all examples of strong stems. They are cylindrical in shape. You would have observed it for yourself. One of the very good examples would be a palm tree. So they are categorized as strong stems. The next category is weak stem. Now we have already seen that there are three types of weak stems, right? So what about the three types? Trailers, climbers, and creepers. Right? These were the three types of weak stems. So now we will discuss about each of them in detail one by one. So the first one which we are talking about here is trailer. Now as the name says, trailer which comes from the word trail. So these are basically stems which trail on the ground. Now some of, in some plants these stems trail on the ground throughout their life. In some plants they trail for some time and then they start rising vertically upwards. You understand what I mean by trailing on the ground, right? That means they move along the ground or they grow along the ground. They do not grow vertically upwards. So those kind of stems are trailers. They are all weak stems. Weak stems means they are not as strong and as woody as the stems which I was talking about some time back. So they are comparatively weak stems, not that strong. So these trailers can be with rooting at the nodes or without rooting at the nodes. That means in some of these trailers, roots arise from the nodes of the stem. Whereas in some, they do not arise from the nodes. Now these trailers are again of three types, procumbent, decumbent and diffuse. So these are the three types of trailers. Now what do each of them signify? The word procumbent is derived from two different words. Pro which means prostrate, cumbent which means lying down. So procumbent are basically those plants which lie prostrate on the ground. So here you can look at this example. Here you can see this plant, right, which is on the ground. I mean, it, it, it is not growing vertically upwards from the ground, but rather it is along the ground or we can see it is trailing on the ground. So one such example of procumbent, an example of a procumbent stem would be evolvers. So, evolvulus is one example of procumbent trailer. The next one is decumbent. In decumbent, the plant or the stem will trail for some time, but then it will rise at the apex. For example, if you look at this plant, what happens? Initially, the stem was trailing on the ground like this, right? You can see that. And then suddenly, when it reaches its apex or at its tip, it suddenly rises vertically upwards. So that is its pattern. So in case of procumbent, it will always be trailing on the ground. In case of decumbent, it will be trailing for some time and then towards its apex, it will suddenly rise upwards. So one example of decumbent would be tridex. So here you can see that example. And the third type is diffuse. So in diffuse what will happen and diffuse the term diffuse itself is uh, itself means I mean a mixture of something or you have heard of the term diffusion in your chemistry or physics right what is diffusion? 
the word diffusion again means that when something and like light enters through a small hole and it diffuses off we use it in this term right so it means things getting mixed up so these are basically stems with branches spreading out in all directions so the branches will spread out in all different direction so one example of diffuse trailer would be borrelia So Borrelia is one example of stems with branches spreading out in all directions. So here you can see these are the stems which are again, they are also trailing on the ground. I mean they are not exactly rising vertically upwards. And if you look at these stems, now and observe one another important thing here. If you compare the stem of this plant, this plant and this plant with the stem of a palm tree, do you notice a difference? Yes, of course, there is a huge difference. When you look at the stem of the palm tree, it is a, a very strong, cylindrical shaped, thick, stout stem. Whereas the stems of these plants, they are not at all that strong. So that is why they all are categorized as weak stems. Now, the, since all of these weak stems trail on the ground, they do not rise vertically upwards. That is why they are called trailers. And in trailers also, some of them will trail throughout the ground throughout on the ground so they are propagated some will trail for some time and then it will rise towards i mean vertically upwards towards its apex so they are called decumbent while there are some others which will trail on the ground but it will have branches spreading along all directions so they are called diffuse so this was all about trailers so now let us look at the next type of weak stem that is climber so what are climbers now again the word itself explains climber something which helps in climbing so these are a type of modification of stem which helps the plant to climb on some support so help plants to climb on any neighboring object whether it is a wall or a building or or a grill or anything so the, these stems will actually start wrapping around that neighboring object and therefore thereby help the plant to climb one of the examples of climbers are the stem tendrils. So we will talk about stem tendrils in detail again. So here in this picture, you can actually see stem tendrils like this. I mean, they are extremely weak structures and they are very much flexible. And that is why. So here you see these tendrils. These are the tendrils. So since they are very much flexible, so it becomes very easy for them to wrap themselves around any object and that is how it helps in climbing. Now some of the plants where we can find stem tendrils are watermelon, muskmelon, cucumber. So these are some of the plants where we actually see the climbers or the stem tendrils. Now we will talk about stem tendrils in detail in the next. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.